to anyone who intends to come take away the freedom and opportunity and dignity of Illinoisans, I would remind you that a happy warrior is still a warrior. You come for my people, you come through me. If you're a conservative woman, here's how I'm gonna fix your life, okay? So you just got married to your husband. Your husband is blatant, just redneck garbage. You like him though, for some reason, something there is clicking. I'm gonna seduce your husband. I'm gonna seduce your husband. I'm going to look him in the eye and I'm gonna explain to him that nobody has ever made me feel the way he has. And I'm younger than you conservative woman that married him. And I'm gonna start like explaining that I'm just so fun and I like doing fun shit because you're probably married and you can't do fun shit. And then once I do that and I implement your fucking marriage arc, he's gonna cause some irrational feelings, which is going to establish itself in your marriage problems. And then you're gonna be like, why am I doing this shit for a man? This is where we get ya. Get ya, get ya, get ya, get ya, get ya. Because then you're like, why am I supporting a guy that isn't doing anything for me? There you go. We are about to enter a political period that will have consequences for the rest of our lives. We cannot give up. We now find ourselves in a time in history that has precedent and we find ourselves, I believe, in a time where there are, let's say, peers in history of mass movements of people that mobilize to protect one another in times of fascism uh, and authoritarianism. And this is the era that we are poised to enter. Um, Donald Trump has talked about turning the military on U.S. citizens that he deems his domestic political enemies. Um, authoritarians and people that he affiliates closely with and strong men abroad uh, in regimes like that, it is not uncommon to jail political dissidents or legislative opponents. Um, this is the world that we very realistically may be entering. And fight for a better future! Woo! There's an Italian communist who's very near and dear to my heart. His name is Gramsci. And he said that we are pessimists because of our intelligence, but we are optimists because of will.
have the capacity to do extraordinary good in the world. And so to everyone who is watching, do not despair. This is not a time to throw up our hands. This is a time to roll up our sleeves. This is a time to organize, to mobilize, and to stay engaged for the sake of freedom and justice and the future that we all know we can build together.